Hello guys, you're watching musikmachen.de, I'm Martina and we're here now at the Music Fair 2010 in Frankfurt at the PRS booth and next to me is P Mr. PRS himself, Paul Reed Smith. Good morning, Paul. Good morning, thanks for having me on. <laughs> no problem. Um, my first question would be, if you were 20 nowadays in 2010, would you do uh, still the same, build your own company with um, building guitars? Do you think that would be possible? I would do, I have no regrets, I would do exactly the same thing. It's a good yes. question though, nobody's ever asked me that before, <laughs> I like that. Because times are now, I think, a little bit harder to make something new, something innovative and that the people like it. Yeah, the market is getting very crowded. There's, yeah. uh, you can start a guitar company just by ordering guitars from China, you know, it, mm. and um, for me, you know, we're trying to do something that's extraordinary and something that is uh, the best musical instruments we could possibly make. And so we can't just order guitars from a company. We have to make them ourselves, and every little part has to be made just right. Mm -hmm. And you still manufacture all the guitars in America? All the guitars are manufactured in America, except, except our SE line. Yes, it's in And the Santana SE line model. is made um, in Korea, and we, we went there and taught them what we wanted. Mm -hmm. And they're very, very good manufacturer. Okay. We picked the best one we could find. Okay, so um, when did you get the first idea to build your own guitar? Weren't you satisfied with the, um, all the details and specifics the um, guitars at your times offered you? Or? No, I was satisfied. Yes. That was not the problem. <laughs> I just thought that I could make a, a living ma making guitars. It was a dream when I was very young, maybe 16. Mm -hmm. And when was the first time you got in touch with uh, guitar playing? When did you start guitar playing? play the guitar yourself. Same age, 14. Yes. Yeah, same age. Uh, was there I would have trigger? rather been a guitar player, but yeah. my skills were, I was a better guitar maker than I was a guitar player. When did you dis uh, discover that? Early on. It was Early very on. heartbreaking. <laughs> because I, I love playing guitar, but mm -hmm. if I made a guitar, it would, it would draw a crowd. Mm -hmm. If I played, everybody would run. <laughs> it's okay. not good. It's all bad. Um, I've read about you that uh, in the 70s, when you built your first guitar, you made a guitar and um, sold it to some half-famous guy. Yeah, and sure. but before you sold it, you showed it to some really famous That's guy right. and you ordered one yeah. as well. How did you get in touch with all those famous people? They were on tour and they yes. would play in the venues near my home. Okay. And I would show the roadies and the roadies would introduce me to the gu guitar players. So easy no, <laughs> at those times. No, it was very times. hard yes. and very scary. But I did it anyway, because it was the only way I had a chance. Okay. Was there some really uh, scary, especially scary uh, occasion you remember? Not anyone that sticks out. Just in general, it took a lot of courage. Um, nowadays, are you still involved in the design of oh your God, guitars? Yes. Woman every day. Yes, every day. Every day. <laughs> uh, yes, every minute. Yes. Okay. I'm very, very involved. So in the back of your mind, you're always thinking about what would be uh, the next guitar I want to make? Yeah, this th this guitar here was made specifically for the Music Message Trade Show, and I was really? very involved in it. Uh -huh. So what I checked it personally before it left and made sure it was wired just the way I wanted, and all the pickups sounded mm -hmm. the way I wanted, and the bridges and the tuning pegs and the guitar sounded just mm -hmm. the way I wanted. So this model is uh, also new for 2010. What no, are? No, it's a it's a McCarty, but with some extra adjustments, and we made mm -hmm. four of them for this trade show. Mm -hmm. Well, four, there were eight total. Uh, four went to England, and four came here to Germany. But it was just a way of uh, kind of showing uh, our re representatives and our artists what we're now capable of. Okay. So are there special models for this year you want to introduce um, to the people here in Germany? Well, we do almost all our product introductions at NAM, which is yes. our trade show in uh, California, at Frankfurt here, mm -hmm. and then at our experience. We have a very large um, event, which the world is invited to, uh, in the end of September every year at our factory. 1,700 people came last wow. year. And a lot of them came from all over the world. So if your uh, viewers want to come, they have to look at our website and see how to come to this thing. It's fascinating, good fun. Okay, so you've heard Paul 
come over to America and visit his company in September. So thank you, Paul. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. See ya.